Welcome to Freightways Weather. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope all of you up there in the Northeast stayed safe. The heat wave is gone, so that's the good news, at least for most of the eastern United States. But now the Northeast has another concern today, and that is heavy rain developing today through tonight. So we're talking about flash flooding possible with watches in place all the way from the Tennessee River Valley, even parts of the lower Mississippi River Valley, all the way up into the Northeast, the Mid-Atlantic Coast, and even into Southern New England. Uh, there's going to be a threat anywhere from Tennessee and Arkansas all the way up to just south of Boston with periods of flash flooding and very heavy rainfall along lots of interstate corridors, including major ones like I-95, I-81, I-65, all the way down into the south. So uh, there's going to be trouble with that today and for tonight, so that could cause minor to moder moderate delays out there uh, for drivers along in those regions of the country. Also, in parts of the east, there's still some hot weather that's going to be sticking around Around, particularly from down around Wilmington, North Carolina, all the way up to the Delmarva Peninsula, particularly inland areas. Highs will still be in the mid to upper 90s with the heat index over 100 degrees just for this afternoon. After that, that part of the country will cool down for the rest of the week. And as a matter of fact, the areas of relief from this heat wave uh, from the Midwest all the way to the Northeast, the temperatures will be dropping from those triple digits all the way to below normal for this time of the year. So it'll be a nice cool off. Lastly, we're going to talk about severe weather threat. That's going to be again from parts of the Mid-Atlantic, some parts of the Southeast, all the way up to Southern New England. So again, anywhere from say around Richmond, Virginia, Baltimore, all the way up to near Boston, everywhere in this yellow shaded area, there's a possibility that again, along the I-95 corridor, we could see some severe storms that will produce uh, intense winds off and on, some large hail. And again, that really, really heavy rainfall, but at least the tornado threat is very low with the system. It's mostly going to be winds, hail, and the rain. That's a look at your weather and the three things you need to know about for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day and be careful out there.